in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. That's Stephen Pearl. Chico, don't be discouraged. The trigger is not that hard to pull. Today we celebrate the 44th anniversary of the idiotic Freddie Prince blowing his brains out because his life was so horrible. What, How about that? What brand of phone do you have? Uh, it's a... <laughs> Let's see. It's a... Uh, let me look. I don't know. Because I want to know what it is, because I'm going to re- recommend to everybody who's listening tells, to us not to... Gee, I, not I don't to, know. Not it, to, it came with the government cheese. Yeah. I don't know. I, it, I got a phone. You know. I'm going to tell everybody not to buy it if because <laughs> the sound of your microphone is terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> Roosevelt Stadium this week. Well, listen, I thought today, since you're, you, you're, you are using your iPhone, and it yeah. is portable... That yeah, you could it. you could kind of give us a little tour of your apartment. Sure. Would you like to? Would you like me to do that sure, now? Sure. Let's, Let's do, do it. That. Let's okay. do it. Okay. Let me get this. Ah, uh, it's the orange lady. Yes, we love art here at the Pearl uh, Ranch. Let's see. Well, here's a uh, here's the bedroom. It's a mess, as you can see. There's one of the cats. Hello, cat. Ah, uh, well, let you sh- show the bed. Show the bed because I want to see. Is it e- e- mess? Oh, you, you you make it every day, do you? Uh, every week, you know. Yeah, because I never, when I was a bachelor, I, I never made my bed. Because I uh, always liked to just have it so I could get under the covers if I wanted to. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's made enough, you know. It's, it's on the ground. It's made. Yeah. Let's see. So that's the, be- uh, that's the-, the-, the bedroom. Wait, show us the cat again. Got to see the cat. Where's the cat? Oh, here he is. Come here, you. Here he is. W- which, which one is that? Is that? I am, and I didn't name him, so shut up. Here's where the cats do their business, and uh, here's a couple of Fillmore East schedules. You want to buy them? 500 each. They're good shows. <laughs> and uh, here's the bathroom. Yeah. Pretty damn clean for me. Uh-huh. There's the bathroom, and here we walk into the living quarters. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see anything because the, the lights are off. But let's see. Yeah. The, the light's on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's my wall of fame with mostly dead people on it. Photograph of me. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see the photograph of you. There we go. When Which was I'm in all of them. Oh, oh I, <laughs> you, I'll eat one. You know, you know something? You move into a house. You're not like some bachelors. They wouldn't put pictures up and things like that. They just move in, throw the stuff in there, and that's it, you know? Oh, I've done that, too, but I still want, I don't want naked walls. It makes the place yeah. look so sad. Yeah, but this is a pretty new place you're in, so, you know, yeah, it's not like the old one. Much. So you, you got all the pictures up and you did all the stuff. You must really be getting COVID crazy. Oh, I'm going nuts here. Here's a pictures uh, Dr. Gonzo painted and sent me of Jack Benny, the greatest comedian who ever lived. Yep, absolutely. And there's a uh, group, the greatest band that ever was. So I got them off keeping me company. W- which band is that? Wait a minute, Hold Still. Is that the Rolling Stones or is it be- the Beatles, of course? All right. Okay. I never said we were bigger than Jesus. I said we were taller. He was 5'11". We were six foot. You know. Okay, Let's. here's the kitchen area. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Looks lived in. Here's Mother Walters. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, oh, I love the look on that cat. He's like... He loves getting his chin rubbed. See that? Oh, he's in heaven right now. That's my buddy. Hi, buddy. Here's some empty boxes. Here's some records I'd like to get rid of if anybody wants them. Fuck each. Take them on. Maybe 50 cents each. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. And I think that's it. <laughs> here's a Beatles calendar from last year. That Oh, here's a picture of Janis Joplin. A mugshot. Wait a minute. Show us. He was arrested in 1963. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We are not seeing it though. You're. You're. That's. Wait a second. Let me find it. How's that? Oh no! You know what you're doing is you're aiming at it, but it's not because you've got it face forward. There we go. There it goes. You almost got it in frame. See what you're doing is you can't. 
you're you're just looking at your you're doing a selfie. <laughs> I can't see anything. It's on the other you're side. You're doing a selfie, so you you got to got to kind of point the camera in the, in, the, in the front. There we go. Oh, there she is. She was actually better looking then, wasn't she? Well, yeah, I think this is 1963, so it looks like she's got a beetle wig on top of her hair. What did she get arrested for? For stealing a jar of mayonnaise from a grocery store in Berkeley. That's what I heard. Really. This, is before anybody knew who she was. She was a little street urchin. She was a hoodlum. Uh, she was. She was out there. Yeah. Okay. She was, uh, God bless her. I thought she was very pretty when she sang. I got to see her once, and uh, I saw her once see. too in Chicago. That's yeah. my autograph picture of Muhammad Ali. His daughter. See, Mamie, it, the trouble is, the trouble is, you're not really showing them because you, you're 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 using your selfie. Here's, here's yeah. a close up of the wall. How's that? I got that. <laughs> We're getting dizzy. We're getting dizzy. You get the idea. That's my house, folks. That's your house. That's really. It's nice. So what? What? Uh, you it, have a little got... bitty house with a little bitty kitchen and a little bitty microwave and a little bitty bedroom and three cats telling me what to do all the time. And Whoops, little bitty cats. Yeah. Little bitty cats. Yeah. So, t- so tell me, um, have you gotten your your phone fixed yet? Um, this is, no, no, I mean my computer. My uh, that's if I did, I wouldn't be on this thing. You would wouldn't be on that thing, huh? The are a bit thin this time of year, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, well, I'm waiting well, to well what, what? What? Oh, listen, my phone's ringing. You hear that? That's my yeah. that's my watch. It's. Oh, I thought it was my agent. Get off that show now. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't answer Take it. A <laughs> I, I didn't answer it because it might be it might be one of those robocallers. And if it wasn't oh, a robocall, I get thousands it, of those. It, I had Since to let, I started looking for an apartment, I get I've been getting thousands of emails every day and thousands of these calls. It was a scam, likely scam, likely. So I never answer them, but it's really fucking annoying. It, well, it, you know what bothers me? How many of these do you get where you actually do answer it, and then there's nobody on the other end? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, why did you robocall me if you're not at least going to start running the recording? Well, the person on the machine is on their crack break or something. I, I don't know. know. I don't know because I, I then I go hello because I figure maybe that will trigger it and it doesn't trigger it. Yeah, and you feel like a dope and you want to strangle people. Why can't we just make these things illegal? You know why? I found out because they're not making them from this country. Uh, yeah, they're going from like uh, you know wherever, like India or yeah, Bombay, wherever, wherever yeah, they are. Yeah, it's so, all that fucking Nixon's fault. Oh. Yeah, it's all Nixon's fault. Uh, so uh, anyway, so you you haven't gotten your computer fixed yet? No, I, I barely got enough money for beans this month, so uh, it's it's uh, it's weird. No 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 gigs because of the COVID thing, and even though I'm in Vegas, there's like three places running, and I've done them already, so mm-hmm. I don't know what to do. I'm just sitting what, around. Well, you might get you might get a sixteen hundred dollar check uh, from the. Oh, government. would I like that? That would help me get my car fixed and pay the bills and get a little bud, and, you know, a little blood man. This flip and just I'll be off, man. Shit. Yeah, but that, yeah, that would help. So I hope Uncle Joe, uh, President Uncle Joe, sends those out. So. Yeah, and they, uh, uh, besides that, there's the six hundred. I think that they already approved. Did you get I, that? Yeah, I already got that. That was a month ago or so. So oh, I boy. could use that. Would be like fourteen hundred or something. So I you hope, you buzzed through through that pretty pretty fast. Oh, that went. Then the rent came along, and that was it, Jack. Oh wait yeah. a second. Just got another. Now, let me ask you the big question, the big important question. Do you have enough money for pot? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's always There's enough. A little bit of it, you know. But I, I look, I, I tried quitting and it didn't take. <laughs> I'm mean and sturdy, and I get I'm a, I'm a walking, talking chunk of mean mad. Oh wow. Like Tom Jode, and uh, yeah. I just I like it. It's my only yeah. vice. Leave me alone. So, um, what's new? I mean, you're not do, you're not getting out, right? You you have you gotten the vaccine yet? No, I haven't had the vaccine. I'm afraid. It's I, I'm afraid of a vaccine that's created in a hurry and with a. No, wait, date. wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I, a I've second. really got it. I got you. You're the kind of person we have to win over on this thing. Okay. This it to begin with. Forget the word vaccine. This isn't really a vaccine. Uh, this is but, a uh, thing that was produced in a lab. It's been they've had it for about 18 years, and they've just been waiting uh, for something to apply it to. And it's really just something that goes into you, and then it tells certain parts of your body, okay, here comes a coronavirus spike 
thing, okay, mm-hmm. kill it or lop off its spikes or something like that. And it does that. It's not like a normal vaccine where they give you a little bit of the of the disease and then you get uh-huh. antibodies and then you're protected against it. This is a whole different technology. And to call it a vaccine, I think, is wrong because it makes people like you frightened. Yeah, about, that's what you know. call a milkshake or something. So. Yeah. I had it the other day. I had it a couple of weeks ago. I, a week ago, Wednesday. Well, we, uh, we're recording this on a Wednesday. It was two weeks ago I got mine. Or was it a week ago? Wait a minute. I don't remember. It's, See, it took your mind over. You don't even remember. Uh, yeah. It's going to erase you and put new thoughts in you. I must join the socialist party. No, See, yeah, I, think it was a, get you. I think it was a week ago, actually. It was on the 20th, yeah. whenever that was. Okay. Uh, uh, which would be last week, right? Yes, that was last week. So we, I have, well, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, and, I, I, and, and I'm not going nuts. I haven't got any kind of reaction to it, you know. So, you know. well, you never know. You're not afraid I might go a second head, and on top of that, it won't like the same music as me. You know? Well, I hear blues. No, I want to hear hip hop. So well, bam, bam. Oh, I felt that too. Okay. Well, if you believe the QAnon people, the trouble with this uh, vaccine is it has a uh, tracking device in it. And yeah. the government can oh, follow you. The gov- oh, I go to the dispensary and they'll come and get me. The, the government can follow you around. However, them, however, and, and, and this, this is important, and you should know this, that they already have a device that tracks you everywhere you go. It's called your cell phone. There you go. Okay, so if oh, they yeah. put, why would they put it in a vaccine? You know, but uh, this vaccine is not dangerous on any level. It doesn't. Uh-huh. It's it's not capable of being dangerous. It do, it's a whole different way of going after a virus. Okay, so um, I I I would get it when you can. Are you how old are you now? Uh, sixty five. Pretending I'm okay. 22. You can get it. You're you're you know sixty five and over. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know where they're giving it out. I would get it if they had it around here i guess they i don't know if they do or not but uh, oh, you know, oh if you just go thing. if you just well, i was gonna say go online but <laughs> uh you don't have a computer uh but uh i can it, go online from this phone oh, okay well this. just say where can i get a covid shot you might it might be that you can get it very easily in in nevada here i had to wait two hours in a line hey i, I can't do that and my, i got and, to do maybe. and my second shot which is supposed to be you know uh uh, uh four two, yeah. weeks four weeks later it's going to be five and a uh-huh. half weeks because they didn't have any appointments earlier so it's a really <laughs> fuck so up here in new york have- but i understand in states like california it's in and out and four weeks later you get your sh- your second shot so i uh-huh. i would i would i would do it steve because i i you know who wants you to die here you know i'm not ready to die yet wait a minute something Oh, oh, here. There we go. We got the dreaded, uh, the dreaded name of the person po- thing. I hope this place. Hey, what the hell? There you here? go. Now you're oh. back on. You're back on. No, now you're off Wait again. A what the hell's going on here? Jesus. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, this is, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here you are. Yeah. Now there's two of you. Oh, here we go. Whoa, okay. What was that all about? I don't know. How did Technical that happen? difficulties. WNEW TV. We'll How did that happen? Did, did, did you did you lose signal or something like that? Somebody sent me a message and it came on the whole screen and then I got all the messages. Oh, I, oh, I'm, oh! I see. I don't know what's going on. I don't like this new technology. Yeah. Give me the old time when you go. You know something? Hardwired stuff, believe it or not, was more reliable. Oh, those old phones you could throw at someone and kill five people. They were great. Oh, well, I, I, I wanted to do an ad once for for uh, uh, the phone company that, that said, remember that time you got mad at your wife and you threw the phone, you yanked the phone out of the wall and threw it at her? <laughs> and remember that it didn't break and you just screwed it back into the wall? In the good old days. We're AT&T. We're reliable. <laughs> because in it those days... You could t- take these phones, you could... Th- it, the first thing, when you got mad that you did was pull the phone out of the wall and throw it. it, it oh, abuse yeah. the phone because <laughs> it, it wasn't yours. It would belong to the yep. phone company. So fuck it. They <laughs> made it so there was no way you could break it. But yeah. then they came out with all these other things like these little handheld phones that you buy at uh, Best Buy. 
And they, they fuck, they're just piffle, you know. Like, it's wrong with your great grandmother, they break halfway through, you know? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, listen, it looks like we're uh, slowly running out of time. Uh, well, we got, we got a lot done today. We well, actually, stuff we actually me more than you because I'm 81, so I'm running out of time. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm running out of time, too, not just so I put so a thing quickly. up the other day. Larry King died, and I said, thank you, Larry. You were great. See you soon. Meaning that, <laughs> hey, I'm older. You know, one day I'm going to die. and every, People started writing me, are you sick? Is there something oh, wrong no, with me? you? Yeah, so, yeah. Hey, you got to watch it when you're older, man. Anyway, hey, we'll see you in a couple of weeks, okay? All right, my friend. We'll do two weeks from today or something like that. Yeah, or whatever. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the amazing Stephen Pearl. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Got to turn the lights on. And now I look beautiful. Oh, boy. I, I'm always forgetting to do something now. There's too much I have to do. I don't know. Maybe I should just do this thing one day a week. <laughs> then then I'll fuck everything up one day a week instead of every night. Uh, listen, I thought we'd do something we haven't done in a long time. And uh, that's go over and take a look uh, at... Um, our um, our um, screen of death, uh, and this is. Uh, let me see here. Let me do this. There we go. There's our screen of death. That is from uh, Johns Hopkins University, and uh, they have uh, uh, they've been putting up uh, this what I call the graph of death for about uh, ten months now. I guess ever since the COVID thing began in March, uh, at least for us, and. Um, Let's take a look around the world to begin with. Look at that number. Look at that number there. Okay. 104 million 838 939 global cases. That's scary, isn't it? That scares the crap out of you. Uh, of that, uh, let's see here. The deaths globally are 2,281,731. All right. Now, look at that. See the U.S. deaths? We amount to about a fifth of that, about 20%, I think, of that, that total there. Let's go to the United States here and look at the numbers here. Um, let me see here. Come here. This is not what I wanted. I want... Huh. It used to be when I would press on United States, I would get uh, no data. Oh, good. That's ridiculous. Okay, hold on a second. Deaths in the U.S. Here we go. Well, wait a minute. Son of a bitch. This really bothers me. I want that. Okay, there we go. Oh, it says global cases, but that's not global cases. That's how many cases we've had in the United States. 26,676,000, global uh, cases in the United States, okay? The amount of deaths, there it is, right there, folks. The death rate, 455,735 as of this very moment. Now, here's the thing that's kind of interesting. Here is the New York deaths, okay? Now, we, as you know, started out uh, with this whole thing. Uh, we, we, we actually did the, uh, we were the very first to really get a bad case of it because we didn't see it coming, and it was coming from Europe, and uh, we were trying to take care of it, and we couldn't. And so we really had a lot of deaths in the very beginning. It was This was a, sl a slaughter. Thank God I'm not a very social person, and uh, Marjorie isn't either. So we didn't go out much. So we were spared catching COVID in the very beginning and being part of that death total. But we have, we have a total so far in New York of 44,298,000 deaths. Now, most of those happened during the first, I'd say, three to four months of the pandemic. And then we got it, we grabbed it by the balls and wrestled it to the ground, okay? 
And there was one day, uh, I think maybe it was in September or so, October, somewhere around there, where we had zero, zero deaths in the entire state of New York. But look what's happening. California, if you can look at the screen, look at your screen there, California is coming up. They are only about 1,300 deaths behind us, where we were once the worst amount of deaths anywhere in the country. We're about to be surpassed by California, okay? Uh, slowly coming up on their heels uh, with 38,453, which would put them about, oh, I don't know, uh, uh, 6,000 behind us here in New York, in, in Texas, all right? Florida, you got 27,000. Pennsylvania, 28,000. You got, uh, uh, we'll go over to New Jersey, 21,000. I mean, it, it, this is terrible. This is terrible. Now, if you were to go to some place like, say, oh, let's go to England, okay? Well, that's Spain. Let me see here. I don't want Spain. I want uh, England. Let's see, London. Okay. Uh, they've got uh, 97,162 deaths in London. Okay, or England, actually. Wow, that is not a lot of deaths. I would have thought they would have had more, but I guess they didn't. Well, United Kingdom, no uh, cases, but the deaths, no. Hmm. Not as good, not as bad. Anyway. Uh, but look at this, the United States, look at us, look at that. It, it's just pure infection there, ladies and gentlemen, on a grand scale. Especially, especially, let me try and get this, this gets really wonky. This is what I, I wish uh, John Hopkins would do something about that. Look at where, it, it, like here in this part here, there are some empty spaces, but also that's like Nevada, that's just desert out there. But look at California, look at the whole East Coast, look at everywhere in the United States. England's pretty bad, okay? Uh, France is pretty bad. Um, all of Europe is, is really hurting. Russia claims they only have, uh, let me see here, where, where is it? Uh, they only had something like, I don't know, 29,000 deaths. I don't, I don't believe that exactly. But anyway, this is, this is what it looks like around the world and everywhere. And the safest little place to be, it looks like, is Australia. Look, Australia's got a couple little dots down there. Of course, they got nothing up in here in Australia, too. So, you know, that's, that's, that's one of the reasons. China, not doing badly. You know, they say that uh, if uh, Hubel, China, where is it? Where, do, where, where, is, where is Beijing? Beijing, I think, is up here, if I'm not mad. Yeah, Beijing, 1,044 cases, nine deaths. Now, why is it in China where it started? They don't have as bad a problem. Got an answer for you. It's very simple. They did something about it, okay? But anyway, I don't want to depress you anymore with the death chart, but uh, uh, that, uh, that is certainly uh, something to look forward to, right? We like doing that because we know you enjoy it so very much. Anyway, uh, on we go, and we hope that you enjoyed that little part of our program uh, that made our lives just a, a lot better. Anyway, I think it's time for us to go check in with our uh, panel here. People are forming, uh, and uh, we've got, uh, let's see, who's coming on board here? We got uh, Robert Natali. Hello, Robert. Good to see you again tonight. Uh, Gentlemen, how's everyone tonight? Yes, Alan, great to see you. Great to see you, Charlie. Great to see you, uh, Brian Neary, uh, my old friend. And hopefully other people will join us as well. Boy, that's, a, that's, that's pretty depressing, isn't it? I think I beat you to depression tonight, uh, Charlie. I'm sorry, sorry I took your job away from you. <laughs> yeah, but you missed the headline. I missed the headline? Yeah, we, we exceeded 5,000 deaths for the first time. Today? Today, 5,282. <clears throat> what happened? I mean, New York's deaths went down. Um, but what, what? California and Texas, we're leading the pack. Really? So that, probably that figure I just gave wasn't in the mix there. 
But California is only about 1,300 people yeah. behind New York. Yeah. And you guys in Texas, you're doing your job, you know. Um, no, they're not. What I hear about this guy in Florida owns a supermarket. Did you hear about this guy? Yes. Uh, doesn't want his employees to wear masks. Or anybody who comes in the store is not allowed to wear masks. Why? Because he thinks it's all a hoax. Is he the heart attack guy? What do you mean the heart attack guy? There was a guy they interviewed this morning on MSNBC in Florida. Uh -huh. who, I didn't catch his connection or what he did for a living. But mm -hmm. this guy said um, heart attacks kill more people than COVID. So why didn't we shut down the country for heart attacks? You, you got to love that. You can't fix stupid. Well, I think I think uh, COVID is the third largest uh, uh, death in America, but heart attacks are very common. That's one yeah, of the, that's one of the things that go out on you. But I can't well, give you a heart attack. You know, no, you can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, I, well, I could give you a heart attack. I'm very good at doing that. Yeah, I suppose. People. Yeah. I, suppose. Uh, I mean, in the good news today, a little farther north from Florida is the U.S. House uh, removed uh, uh, Marjorie Green from all her, yeah. her, her, her uh, yeah. things because of her stupidity. Well, I, I, I agree with them doing that. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't want them to throw her out of there. I think that is the job of her constituency, you know. but uh, Actually, nine Republicans joined in and voted for her to... Yeah. Yeah, but the rest no. of the Republicans, nah, she's okay with us. We, we, she should have killed Nancy Pelosi. We're all with her. Yeah. Boy, what a bunch of douchebags. <laughs> Amazing. Listen, before we go any further, yeah. can I get assurances that we're not going to talk about nose jam or stool <laughs> samples uh, yeah. or yeah. how many inches Alex has? Tonight? No, 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 yeah. not at all. However, however, uh, Yesterday, I kept, I kept because I have this uh, 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 neuro, neuropathy, and my feet kind of tingle. I wear socks all the time, so I wore socks to bed the other night. And when I took it out, I had some amazing toe jam. Oh, jeez! Oh, well, I, I don't have to worry about I, toe I, jam. I, I didn't mention all those other things. I'd mentioned toe jam. That's not a problem for Charlie. Yeah. That's it. Come well, he, we go? he gets less toe jam, but I'm sure he still gets toe jam. Can we go to Charlie's shirt of the day, please? Oh, what is, what is his shirt of the day? What is that? Uh, F equals... You see, I don't, I'm no good with math, so you better tell me the joke. That's um, force equals math times uh, acceleration. That's the formula for acceleration, and it says may the force be with you. I get mm -hmm. it. Oh. Oh, oh. I like the nice. acceleration part. Huh? I like the part of acceleration. It's it's what a what a motor or jet engine does. They use that. I formula. wish I were I wish I were better at math. I would have gotten the joke immediately. <laughs> you know? See, I have one from back in my teaching days that says four thirds of all students have trouble with fractions. <laughs> four thirds. <laughs> I'm going to wear it some night. I still have it. Yeah. That's very good. That's very nice. good. Um, yeah. Um, but I uh, just, uh, you know, I, I, I uh, getting back to this guy down in Florida with his store and his, you know, I mean, what kind of moron can possibly say that COVID is a hoax? I mean, mm -hmm. that where that moronic ability comes from, I have no idea. Maybe a very special gift. You know, it's called Republican. It, yeah. yeah. If I get the virus, I'm going to fly down to him and I'm going to cough in his face. Right. Well, that's the deal. He won't get sick, but you will. Yeah. You know, that's that's how life works. <laughs> yeah. And I say if uh, if if he wants to get the vaccine, we don't give it to him. Right. Exactly. You know, we, we just there are certain people who should not get the vaccine. His uh, store is going to be the next super spreader. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous. See, some of these people are just insane. I mean, how anybody has turned this whole thing into a political question. 
You know? Yeah. I mean, come on. It's, a, it's not a political thing. People are dying. There are, how many deaths do we have now? 455,000? Try yeah. and tell the relatives of those people that it's a hoax. Yeah. yeah. You know? And you're disrespecting those people. Yeah. That's the other part about it. You're disrespecting the, the deaths that were caused by this uh, horrible, horrible virus that we've got. I mean... Well, just like Green saying that the, the Sandy Hill shootings were a hoax. Right. Yep. Well, we know that's true. But, I like uh, the <laughs> statement from last night what? about her, his hand around her neck. Yeah. Yes. That was that was so appropriate. Yeah. You got to feel for the parents. You really do. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. no, it, 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 it's disrespectful to those people. I mean, well, you know where that all started. Uh, what's his name? Alex Jones was yeah. the guy that said Sandy Hook was a hoax. Hoax. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so she was simply parroting Alex Jones, and he got sued by the parents at Sandy Hook or by one of the parents at Sandy Hook. And I think that they're still in court on that one. See, I think the Trump era served one purpose for good or bad, but there been there's been a lot of stupid in our country, but it's been buried in 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 rabbit holes, you know? Yeah. And mm -hmm. the Trump yeah. era it brought them all out a little bit like peanut butter brings out mice, you know? It, it, it yeah. It ferreted yeah. them all out and now we're shocked to see how much stupid there is out there. But it's been there all along. It's just oh, now yeah. it has voice. You see, I will, I and, will, I will forgive being naive. Okay, that's a yeah. lack of knowledge. Yeah. But pure stupidity. I mean, when you look and you see that four hundred fifty-five thousand people have died, and then you call what they died of a hoax, or that more people die of heart attacks, and we don't stop. Well, there is nothing you can do. You can stop heart attacks. You can eat less food and you can exercise a lot. And even if you do that, some people just get heart attacks from eating pocket lint. You know, yeah, I mean, remember the runner fix? He had a heart Jim attack. Jim Fix. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He kept telling but, everybody, um, I, ha I had a bad heart, but now I took care of it with running and running and running <laughs> yeah. and running. And one day he keeled over and yes, people yeah. like myself were there going, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Because he well, was like so says, you know, he was so like, obnoxious people, about it. What? Well, like Robert's saying, you know, the, the the people are saying this stuff, and then they they try to push it off, like, oh, I never said that. Like she was saying, oh, that stuff was in the past. That yeah. stuff was like two, three months ago when she's saying this stuff, and they all have it on tape and video of her and her posting it on her her Instagram or whatever. And they say, oh, that was in the past. And then she well, said today, she said pieces of words that I say. And the same thing with you, media. Pieces of words are no, not not media, but the other people that were there today. Pieces of words that we say can get misconstrued, and it's like, what are you talking about? Those are complete sentences you were speaking. Yeah, about. yeah. yeah. We saw you walking <laughs> yeah. down the street chasing that kid from Parkland. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, calling him names and everything like that. I guess. I guess uh, <laughs> she didn't know who he was. What I, was that about? I am. I am oh. certainly for watching Robert strangle this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> listen, a... listen, there isn't a person on our panel tonight who hasn't been guilty. Mm -hmm. I'll be the front of the line of saying something stupid in our oh, life yeah. Yeah. that was uh -huh. insensitive or mm -hmm. it was, you know, derogatory. And you realized your words were too sharp after the fact. But you're talking about an isolated case where you're just being human. This is a woman that seeks to be stupid. You know, at every turn. Well, I'll tell you, different. I'll tell you, it isn't just stupid. It is the stupidness is compounded by the stupidness of putting it on a public forum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It, like saying, well, Joe, I'll put it on Facebook, but nobody will see it. Right. No. Stupid needs <laughs> no. an audience, doesn't it? No. Yeah. I, you know, people have to learn that now, unfortunately, and, and I say unfortunately, and I'll, I'll qualify that in a second. Unfortunately, anything you put on the internet comes back to haunt you. Okay, yep, um, and uh, it, it, uh, I say uh, it's terrible in that uh, it can be misconstrued, it can be misrepresented. But if it's a constant thing like she was doing, yeah. there's no, you know, there's no case of misconstruing what she said. I heard it. You know, she and I'd almost I'd almost admire her more if she 
stood behind the shit she said you know instead of now trying to soft pedal it and like now she's a little nervous and so well, no she came out and she said a sandy hook never uh, w- w- really did happen and blah 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 really really the, the uh thing at the uh, at the pentagon really did happen now i'm gonna give her a little little width and breadth here on that uh, pentagon thing because there are some people that go there wasn't a plane there when it crashed i guess it was so burnt up and everything uh that it, it there was no it doesn't seem to have been a plane there completely disintegrated it completely yeah. disintegrated now i'll buy that but uh, a certain but i can see where she might have suspicions about that okay uh- how about the how about the twin towers? I didn't see the plane. No, she through. didn't talk about the twin towers though. What she was complaining no, no. about was the Pentagon and said that plane never fell into the Pentagon. Well, then where yeah. did that impact come from? Where did that, happened? you know? But nevertheless, I can see where a conspiracy theorist and many of them have said this about the Pentagon. Okay, I've seen whole things about you know this is why there wasn't there wasn't a plane did not crash into the Pentagon blah 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 and they show you stuff and you go okay well you know and they've been they've tried to make a case for that for years so I'm gonna give her I'll give her a pass on that okay yeah but what happened to all the people on the airplane in the airplane well right. of, of course never been seen they, again. They've never been seen again well you know those Jewish flying saucers uh, <laughs> laser laser lasers. 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 yeah. Well, no, crazy. no, but it's from Jewish flying saucers that the lasers are being sent from. Okay, yeah. with a uh, schmear, with yeah. a schmear. Yeah. <laughs> can I bring up something from yesterday? Yeah. I can see a flying saucer up there with a little old Jew with his nose just barely above the steering wheel. You know. And I heard him, and I heard him, because it was that morning we had lightning storms that went all the way up the bay, and that's what caused most of those fires. Really? So I heard him. I just didn't see him. Those were the lasers. <laughs> those were the lasers. Yeah. Those are lasers, yeah. But I mean, you know, I mean, there there are certain conspiracy theories about things all the time. You know, I mean, the one that I always loved what is what happened with the JFK. The, yeah. all, all the theories. There were so many yeah. theories that eventually, yeah. if there was any truth to one of them, it was so <laughs> obliterated by all the others. And they're, they're also mentioning one of a uh, Kennedy of a uh, um, what's his name, Kennedy? They crashed in the airplane. You know, the son. Yeah, John Kennedy Jr. John Jr. Yeah, yeah Jr. That there was a conspiracy theory about oh, that sure. too, oh, right? Sure. Yeah, a Jewish laser hit it. Oh, that he's not dead. John and Kennedy Jr. Dead. isn't not, dead. Yeah. yeah, right. Am I right, Charlie? Yeah, that's a conspiracy. He's not dead. He's not dead. Really? Yeah. Meanwhile, I mean, it also maybe will call the show. That's part of the. Uh, that's show. part of the QAnon <laughs> theory, right? It's part of yeah. QAnon. Yeah. Yes. Yes. QAnon. Yes. Yes. Or that the Clintons <laughs> did something to him. I don't know. Meanwhile, it all goes back to the, one of the first things I learned in a philosophy class, Occam's razor. Mm-hmm. You know, oh. that the simplest explanation is usually the one that's closest well, to the I truth. said that about the Kennedy assassination. I went on the air and I said, tonight I am going to be very controversial about the Kennedy assassination. I'm going to tell you something you don't want to hear, but I know something about the Kennedy assassination that you don't know, and that is Lee Harvey Oswald killed him. And then I, I then I just waited, and people started calling up, yelling oh, at me, and screaming at me. <laughs> yeah. And I said, "See, I told you it was the most controversial theory. The most yeah. controversial theory was that Lee Harvey Oswald the actually did it. This one, yeah. How do you get all five shots in five seconds oh, and goodness. hit them all the time? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. something. Uh, sometimes that can happen. It's rare, but it can happen. Okay." Um, but I mean, it was just—it was insane what people were doing with that. Yes, you had your hand up, Alan. I wanted to get down. Yeah. So I, I want to get back to the idiot that owns my pillow real quick. <laughs> oh. no, 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 no. This is. This Let's is... talk about stool samples instead. <laughs> yes, please. I'm no teller here tonight, but this is this is kind of a stool sample. I get it. So, does anybody know that he wrote a book? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't know it till last night. I didn't read it. Yeah. How much did it cost you? <laughs> it's nine ninety five. It's I went to the My Pillow site. Uh, I think it was yesterday's nine ninety five, yeah, and did. it's called the things I learned from God or was something with no, God. no, no. It says it says it's got what God are the, the odds? Question mark from crack addict 
to CEO. Okay, but back, that, back doesn't have a sub doesn't have yeah. a subtitle about that's, God that's in there. Point, Isn't there a subtitle about God in there? Yes. Oh, probably he's a yeah. He's he was a crack addict. So he's, did he get yeah. hit with a big old suit today from? Uh, yeah, uh, he didn't. Yep. Did oh, he? he didn't? No, he didn't. No. Uh, but I'll tell you, Maria uh, Parker Mondo, smart, and sp Fox, sm yeah. smart Maddox, Smart Maddox, yeah. Yeah. which is a company that makes. Uh, voting machines, and, yeah. and quite frankly, if I'm going to buy a voting machine, I'm not going to buy a voting machine from a company with such a lack of imagination that they called their company Smartmatic. It also Why? slices That's onions. Perfect. Yeah, it also you want a smart polar, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it's smart. dices, the dices. It's perfect, and, and you can yeah. also pick up Netflix on it. So you know, and if you act now, yeah. So anyway, they're suing. Hmm. Uh, let's see here, Fox, Giuliani, the, yeah. Giuliani. Lou uh, Dobbs. No, Tucker Carlson. Lou uh, Dobbs. Uh, uh, what's his name? The other moron. Uh, Hannity. Hannity, yeah. Uh, Janine yeah. Pirro. Oh, God, I'm glad they're yeah. going after that mm -hmm. cunt. Uh, uh, and, Who, who's yeah. suing them? Uh, uh, Smartmatic. Smartmatic. Smartmatic company. A polling company. Oh. No, they make the, the voting machines. They yeah. make the voting yeah. machines. Yeah. yeah, they make the voting machines and... Giuliani, that, they're doing it for two point seven million. One point five million is against Giuliani by a Dominion. Not a billion. Domin Dominion. Billion. 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 Both of these, two point seven billion, and then billion. two two point one point five billion on billion. the on the thing with Giuli against Giuliani by uh, 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 <laughs> Smartmatic's com Giuli competitor uh, Dominion. Now that's the one that gets me too. Why do you name yourself a company like Dominion? It sounds like you know you're out to take over the world. Oh, the and and Giuliani got screwed from Trump with all the all the lawyer money. It's so yeah. funny. But yeah, well, he, but he was yeah, billing he him. Paid. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on a second. He was yeah. he was billing Trump at twenty thousand dollars an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, maybe he feels like a doctor who turns in how much he charged you for something to <laughs> Medicare but, because he knows they're going to bring the price down. So you, you make it 14. But the joke is Trump probably heard 20 grand and said, yeah, 20, 40, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you yeah, ain't yeah. getting a dime anyway. Yeah. 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 You're not going to pay him anyway. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's just. Oh, and, and also they want, uh, they, they, they want Trump to show up for his trial. Yeah, fat chance. And he said, nah, I'm not coming. It's just a publicity stunt. I mean, why don't they subpoena him instead of asking him? How well, he said it's just a publicity stunt, and I think he got I, that information from uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. So, <laughs> you know. Nah, there's a, there's a letter out there on the media that, that they're asking for him to come there, but why would he come? I wouldn't go either unless they subpoenaed me. And even then, he probably won't go. Nah, he won't. Uh, well, he could go up in front of a public audience again and yell and scream that he was robbed. No, yes. no, you know he would never do this. Take yeah. the Fifth Amendment, but yeah. you know because he would think that he, yeah. being the smartest man in the world, that he'd be able to talk his way out of yeah. anything. So. John you know, Larkin. You know what is, the yeah. irony is his defense is going to be that you you can't impeach uh, a president that's not in office, but he he still claims that he's still president. He hasn't, you know. Right. He admitted that he's not the president. So, But That's stop funny. and think about this for a minute. The reason why it makes sense that you can impeach someone beyond their term is the following. If you can't, mm -hmm. then I could become president. Yeah. I could rip the country off of a billion dollars. And yeah. the moment I'm impeached, resign. Yeah. And now I'm no, beyond impeachment again. Well, they yeah. can still prosecute you criminally ah you well that's the thing will yeah. you know will they do that but you can certainly be impeached beyond your term uh yes you can and but it, you, he already was impeached yes you okay so it, it, but the, the trial yeah, can take place office. can take place it, it's it, all all impeachment is is an indictment yep. and yes. then that indictment goes to the senate mm -hmm. who then tries it as a case so I would imagine, like anything else, if I did a crime and maybe I there was a statute of limitations, if they got me before it ran out and charged me with it, they could then wait years before they put me on yeah. trial. Okay, so it's the same thing, but I uh, I think it's well within the purview. But it's see, it's not going to happen because the Republicans are not going to vote. Uh, 
then we need 17 of their votes, and they're not going to vote to uh, uh, right. to, to, to convict. That okay. defeats the whole purpose of impeachment. Because it's supposed to be a trial by jury, and it's supposed to be a jury. A jury can't right. make up their mind before they hear the evidence. Well, yes. the, yeah, the jury is the, uh, <laughs> the Senate. Senate. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, that's why I'm saying that, uh, yeah, I guess let's do it for grins, you know, or whatever, but we're wasting our time. What's going to happen is the Southern District of New York is going to file charges against Trump for all kinds of corruption. And he's going to have more trouble there because that's some prison time, okay, uh, that, he, that he'd be facing. And he's not facing cr prison time if he's found guilty in the Senate, you know. He just never can run for president again right. and, uh, you know, has to go to his room and without television. But can, can he be prosecuted for the same thing that he's being impeached for? Yes. You know, when yes. He's out? That's a separate trial. So they could still they could still prosecute him for that, for inciting a riot. Yes. Yes. Yes, I think they could. But the question is, who's going to do it? You know, oh. and that would have to be, again, the attorney general of the United States filing charges against him or. Maybe it could be somebody in the District yeah. of Columbia. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the yeah. D.C. Yeah. The D.C. Attorney General or whatever, District, yeah, yeah. I mean, prosecutor, whatever you call it. The, 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 district, the District of Columbia police have asked the the D.A. or whatever it is there to, to file charges of inciting a riot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but, but the thing is, and here's the point, I think that the uh, D the D.C. District Attorney does not have any kind of power over what happens at the Capitol, because that is somehow special ground. It's, federal or something. Property. it's not even federal you property. know yeah it's federal property and it's you know it's it's not part of the uh, part of the city. But got, what have it, we learned, class? What we've learned is yeah. if your president mm -hmm. and your party is in control of the Senate or close to it. You can basically get away with anything you like. Yeah, well, no, it, 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 even if it, it, if you are close to it, or maybe over it, maybe you got more people. They, it, you know, we could have ten more. Uh, You're still good. More guys, uh, Democrats in the Senate, and we still yeah. wouldn't be able to nope. find him guilty. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I mean, I I think, uh, quite frankly, I think. Uh, uh, it's ridiculous, you know, the whole the whole system. Because, I mean, we do have to, you know, I do agree that this guy should be called to account for what he did. I mean, what he did was one of the most egregious things that any president could possibly do. I mean, you're a president of the United States. You're supposed to protect the Constitution. Yeah, and you didn't. I mean, I don't know why we can't just get him on uh, charge of... Uh, uh, failing to live up to his oath of office yeah. because he swore that he would protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. And at a certain point, he tried to usurp it. Yeah. He forgot about that. Yeah. That, he would, that he swore to do that. Yeah, well, you know. And, of course, his word is always good, right? But did you see the Bible that Biden was sworn in on? It was a family yeah, Bible. Yeah. yeah, and it was this this high <laughs> This thick, and I think they also had all the events of the family for the last two hundred years mm. in there and everything. You know, the goyim, them and their Bibles. Okay, anyway, um, uh, <gasps> and 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 I looked at looked at Trump's uh, thing, uh, his inauguration. It was that thin a Bible. Yeah, it's like the one he held up in front of the all church the upside down. Right. Huh? It was the Cliff Notes version. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. He, he bought that thing from Tony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, Tony writes me a, a note yesterday on Messenger, right, on Facebook Messenger. It says, I just got a letter from the city, and it says I'm going to get my, my – uh, it's got the barcode, and it tells me I'm going to be getting my uh, shot on the 11th. He's always bragging about it. And I wrote him back and said – Everybody got one of those yesterday, and it was true. They sent out one to Marjorie, got one, I got one, he got one. It's because the city doesn't know how they want to do this thing, and they just keep sending out different revisions of what they've been doing. I just I hope they don't lose me in the mail, you know. But anyway, it's just and, uh, uh, all I'm saying is that... Where uh, is Smart Ryan tonight? Who? Oh, oh Smart Ryan, yeah. <laughs> 
I often wonder. I, I was thinking to myself, you think he's really a kid? I think so. He sounds no. like a kid. You yeah, don't think he's like a kid, like Robert? No. He played Roblox. Huh? He knows, no. he knows Roblox, and that's what I play with Adrian. Okay. You're not you're yeah. not nine years old though. You play hey, it's better than when you were a dad and had to probably have makeup on for your kids. I didn't have to do that. <laughs> no, this is days, this day the tea parties for the girls is going mm -hmm. on Roblox. If he, you still if, have to if, dress up as funny people. So. If it was if, Legos in if my day. Ryan oh, isn't Legos. if Ryan isn't a kid, whoever's doing yeah. it is doing a perfect impression of a kid. Mm -hmm. Ryan, yeah. Because yeah. I try to listen to it and say, could that be an adult doing a kid? And I'm going, doesn't no. sound like it. You know. You can change your voice easily. There's software out there. Well, not no, like Phil, not, not like that. You could hear when it was electronically altered. Like Phil. There you go, Ryan. What? It sounds like speak? Phil to me. Oh, it sounds oh, like Phil? Like <laughs> Fake Phil. Uh, Fake Phil. I think, I think the go-go dancer was more like Phil. <laughs> Yeah. There's a thought I won't be able to get out of my mind tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that guy yeah. ruined your dinner. <laughs> oh boy! So anyway, <clears throat> I have a little chest congestion today. Chest. It's probably COVID. I'm sure it is. Well, no, I, 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 I I'm now two weeks, twelve yeah. days. Close to shot, being so. perfect. So I'm, I'm, I've got a level of protection now. In, unless I get canceled by Kaiser, I, Monday's my second injection. Yeah, well, I'm. I don't want, want you people even saying that to me because I'm so insane about the fact that they made it like you know five and a half weeks. I know. And I'm going. Why? Everybody, it's given four weeks, right? Boom in the in the arm. And with me, no, it's four, five and a half weeks. And they even They're had a, even had a sign at this place yeah. saying, if your uh, date is longer than four weeks, don't worry, it's okay is what the sign said at the place. So obviously they knew that people weren't getting there, at least, I think it's by the place where you got your shot as to what, what date you can come back. And the 27th was the first date that was available, so. Did you see the video I sent you, Alex, that Dr. Fauci spoke yesterday? Yeah, I watched a little bit of it, but I had seen it so, already. So, so it's, they don't, you know, I don't want to get into this again. Here really we long. go. What, what they don't know. I know. No, it, no, it, he, it, he look actually, at Robert. Look at Robert. Robert, do it again. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. He, he actually agreed that you could maybe take it out for six weeks. But that's not what they want to do. And then I'm done talking about COVID. Wait a minute. I can take it out in six weeks? I don't <laughs> I don't understand where we're going. Look, with this. the British are doing it for twelve. You know Are we talking about Uranus again? <laughs> can we get back to this? The British are doing it for twelve. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they can stretch out the amount that they have to shoot in people's arms the first time. They feel that if you get it in their arm the first time, at least that's better. They're not getting it in at all because you don't have enough because there are people having their second shot. So if they make it 12 weeks, it's they're just going to be able to give out more shots. So okay. uh, we don't, it, it, but it's Fauci's... Still catch up. Everybody still needs a second shot. And so the reason, a reason Fauci's well, saying six, now, you, you, six weeks from now... The reason Fauci is saying you can stretch it to six weeks is because just, just like he originally said, don't wear masks, when yeah. he knew that the masks were needed for the healthcare workers... And they didn't want to have a run on mass. He's doing the same thing with with the six weeks. He's saying, "Well, you know, I don't wait uh, the full six weeks or whatever," because he doesn't want people to do that. Because people will; they'll just get lazy, say, "I don't want to go back immediately," and so on. So, it, uh, it's just I'm his sorry. way of saying, "Hey, this is ideal. This is what you should do." Okay. And uh, hey, check your temperature next. We're going in the sequence again, or what? What? You got to check your temperature. No, again, I'm no. not going to take my temperature on the air. Good. I refuse Good. to take my temperature on the air. Okay. Good. All right. Good. That saves us 15 minutes. We know what your temperature is anyway. Yeah. Well, I know it's it's okay. You know, it's fine. Uh, it says so on the screen. It, what? <laughs> your temperature. I should have a thing where you can see it, it hooked up to me where you can see my temperature on the screen at all times. Okay. Hey. Good. Hey, you like very, that? Uh, you like that, Robert? Perfect. Yeah, I think we should do a theme night, you know, where we play, we, we, we do a pool, 
-hmm. you know, who has 97.9? We all simultaneously take our temperature mm -hmm. and everybody throws in a buck, you know. No, we could do it. We yeah. could do lowest temperature wins. Yeah, like, yeah, like like paycheck poker. Yeah. But you then, then you might do something. If you're using one of the ones for the forehead, you might go get yourself some ice out of the freezer and just put it on your head for a couple uh, of uh, yeah. See, right away you're looking for an angle. Yeah. <laughs> or, or you might, uh, if you're using a thermometer, you might take in some cold liquid, you know, try and get it down. Well, I'm 75.3. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you got a pulse? Have you got a pulse? Oh man, you know. But I mean, I'm I I will be. I was just thinking about it today. I'm just, I'm I'm getting very depressed lately. <laughs> oh, what's new, Alex? Yeah, well, I, uh, yeah. I didn't say that. You, you know, but I mean, it's just enough is enough already. I just want to be able to. Oh, I want that second shot so I at least can go out and feel a certain level of protection, okay, and not live in fear. Mm. You had no side effects from the first one? No. Neither did I. No. I, if I, if I did, they, they were so fast and so passing that I didn't even pay attention to them. You know. You what, go out right. in the snow at all, though, Alex, regularly? Did I go out in the snow? Yeah. No. Like during the winter time, do you usually stay in anyways? I haven't left the house. I haven't left the house, I think, in a week now. I mean, but I mean, like I haven't showered for winters. five days. What? Oh, but I mean, like, geez. previous winters, do you ever go outside <laughs> during the winter? Uh, do I, I uh, not as much as I do the rest of the year, obviously, you know, I don't go out when it's too hot. You know, I consider that like a snowstorm when it's a hundred degrees. So let's face okay, it. I just don't, point, I, I don't go out much. All right. Well, I rest my case. That's the point I think we're trying to make is that your life isn't really as changed as you might think it is. Well, it is changed enough because, uh, you know, I would sometimes uh, hey, I think I'll get uh, get on the subway. I'll go down to uh, Italy and I'll buy some ravioli and bring it back for dinner. You know, and you just do that on a whim. Yeah, subway, boom, down there. Get the take it back home. Oh, lovely ravioli for dinner. I can't do that now. You know, um, we had this court case going. They said the the judge said, well, if you want to come back and do the court case, you can do it. Uh, and then his, he said, we, we completely COVID-proof the courthouse every day. And I'm going, can you assure me? <laughs> can you assure me? You know, I happen to be 81 years old. Can you assure me that I'm not putting myself in the, in the crosshairs of COVID? And he, the judge can't say yes on that one. And by the way, if I get COVID, I'm then going to turn around and sue you because you said it was COVID proof. You know. COVID proof would be an empty courtroom. Hmm? COVID proof would be an empty courtroom. An empty courtroom, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't want to... I, then the, the, uh, the, the offer was there that we could do it, uh, uh, what do you call it, virtually. And I, that's fine with me. You know. So the empty courtroom, I like that. It, it kind of sounds like an empty brain, like the guy in Florida that Robert was talking about. <laughs> the guy that just left the White House for four years. Yeah. You know? I'm wondering what they're doing with cases of like criminals who get arrested and so on. And are they still do they still have the courthouse open for that? Well, early mm -hmm. on in California, they were, unless you had done some really heinous crime like rape or murder or arson yeah. or, or something like that, they would, what, what we call sight and release, would issue you, it looks like a traffic ticket, and instead you check the box that says misdemeanor, and 30 days from that day or the closest after a weekend, you put that date on it, and they're supposed to show up to court. But what they do is they go back out and burglarize another house, steal another car, because God forbid that these people that victimize people go to jail and get COVID. Well, wait a minute. Stealing a car isn't victimizing. No? No. You I, you know, what, I, what I hate about our laws is that everything is against the law. A lot, most of the things the police go out and deal with uh, are crimes which are against property. Proper, mm. God forbid you should do anything to property. People is another story, but property is a big deal. Oh, I got robbed. Okay, we'll go take care of that. You know what I'm saying? 
In other words, uh, well, you it, know. it's like it's like when they knock somebody over. When they're over seventy five, it ought to not be a crime. Oh, that's terrible when you <laughs> when you hit somebody or you do something. Violent. I'm joking, Robert. Don't look so serious. <laughs> No, I I understand violence. That's a different thing altogether. But the trouble is most of the laws we have protect property and not people. Am no, I right they, or wrong, Robert? Would you agree or disagree? I think with that? there's something to that. Yeah. I think we're overly concerned with property. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, they kept saying, like, with the Capitol, uh, gee, uh, that's terrible. They're Look at that. They're breaking the windows. Yeah, but they also shot a woman to death. Now, that's slightly more important. And somehow, even though I have no sympathy for her because she broke into the Capitol and she probably believed that QAnon was right, uh, uh, nevertheless, she was shot to death, and it almost seems like they didn't do much to go look into that case. That was a property crime. That wasn't a property crime when they There's finally shot her. bought that bullet. When they yeah, shot Hmm? They looked into it and they they determined that 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 um that it wasn't murder because the guy was um defending himself. But have you seen the video? Caught. I saw the video. I know, but yeah, well, he, he was wasn't trying to climb into the window. Yeah, yeah but the window to come in there and get him. Yeah, yeah but she was, she was with a mob that was going to kill him. Yeah. My question is, and I'll ask Alan this because Alan was a cop, decorated, I might add, uh, but. Alan, uh, in, 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 you know, my question is, and Marjorie always says this too, why don't they shoot for the foot? Why don't they shoot for the arm? Why do they always shoot for body mass? Uh, well, uh, body mass is the biggest thing to hit. That's the first, to yeah, hit. But, but, first but, part of the question. Mm -hmm. The second part of the equation is, what is that person doing to... For the police to shoot. At, at Do you think that woman? Did you, I are, saw are her. I saw in, her. Are they breaking into yeah. a car or stealing your favorite? Well, to begin with, that woman who no. broke through the window or came through was coming through the window, was not armed. Well, you don't have to have a gun or a knife. Well, what I'm it. saying is, no. All I'm saying is that my question is, why didn't they shoot for the foot? If, you know, you shoot somebody in the foot, they're going to stop. There's no question about that. Maybe. If you hit the foot, if well, that's right. It's kind of a okay. Weapon. Try for the foot, and if that doesn't work, then go for body mass. Okay, so you shoot for the foot, you miss. It hits the floor, ricochets, and hits somebody across the street, some little kid in the hotel room. But that could happen if you shoot for my body too. Yeah, and less Absolutely. likely to miss though. It's a bigger target. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's but right. it still could happen. I mean, it could. I think she got hit in the chest. This woman. Yeah. And it could have gone through her and got the person next to her as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sort of, you know, it depends on, you know. Um, I think, I, I honestly believe no matter what was happening there, the least force was not the, an issue there. They used the there? most force. I saw, I saw it with my, eye, my I, own two I eyes. I watched it last night, the, To begin with, the cop, did you notice how far away the cop was from her? How far? Uh, there, was a win there was a window she was going in on the right. Okay, that had been busted. That's he right. was all the way to the left of that, what is a double doorway. Okay, and, and he shot her. She wasn't and, anywhere near him. Yeah, but so also, she's climbing in the window. Yeah, you know, I'm only you. asking this. See, I'm not asking this because I feel sorry for her. I'm asking this because I'm I'm bringing it up as an ethical question. It, uh, you know, so, was he so, was he right to shoot her? Was his he life in danger? Only. What? She wasn't the only thing that, that they had to worry about. There was a whole mob of people out there. Thank yeah, you, they're Charlie. They're all coming in. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie. And did that shooting of her stop them? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Nobody that else was the idea. That window. <laughs> yeah, nobody else went through that window after her. They heard of it. You heard everybody go, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. And they all started scattering. What would have rubber, right. if we, he was armed with rubber bullets, what would have done, it done to her? That sounds like a Democrat asking that question. Well, no, I'm, I want to know, because I think that sometimes the cops use excessive because force. What happens, if, what happens if the gun's loaded with rubber bullets and the, the bad guy has steel bullets and he's shooting at you? Okay, I'm saying, what if he was, go, he was shooting at somebody who was unarmed, okay? Well, you can't tell that she's climbing through a window. That's right. 
Charlie's uh, yeah. right. Jeff? If there's one guy and he comes into your house and he goes, I'm thinking about killing you. No, oh, that's different. And I'm your policeman. You might say, listen, I got a gun. I'm not going to kill you right now. I might shoot you in the foot because it's easy. However, when there's 200 people there crashing into the place, mm -hmm. it's a crazy place. And you don't have to make those seven different decisions. You got one good decision. I mean, I'm asking, I think here, a hypothetical question here. You know, I want to know why we, Mar Marjo often said this to me, why don't they, why do they always go for body mass? Why don't they go for the foot or something else? which would shoot them, which would hurt them. Uh, you know, it's like in movies when the car is starting to when get I, away and the I, cop tries to shoot at the car, she's yelling out at the TV, shoot the tires, you know? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, right. If, if that cop would have shot 10 people, yeah. then you'd be saying, well, why did he have to shoot 10? What if he only shot one? They would all get the idea and scram. Yeah, but I, well, I, I just said He only shot one, so he should be happy. I, I just don't know that from what I saw... Uh, there was enough danger there that they he should have shot. Uh, you know something? You know how he could have made them scatter? Just shoot the gun straight up in the air. You know, <laughs> just fire the gun. So, so well, that's I mean, property. Better, better than that is shoot into the ground so the bullet goes in the ground. Well, because okay. What what goes up comes down. You know, what I and, often yeah. wondered uh, all these in all these Islamic countries when they're really happy. I they, wonder the same they thing. Show, they, they fire shoot, all their guns. They shoot I guns. How many people get killed. They shoot guns straight up in the air. Don't those bullets yep. come down on somebody? Yep. Well, they come Where down. But if somebody's there, you can hurt them. From what I'm told, though, the velocity of it coming down is not the same as it would be no. going into somebody. No, it's because it goes up, it slows right. down, and then it comes down to the no, earth. No, because, and because of air it's, resistance. Yeah, because of air resistance. Because of air resistance. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm wondering. Gravity and air resistance. They must know something we don't know. Otherwise, a lot of Muslims would be dead now, and we wouldn't have to go out and fight them. Because we, we just say, know? let's just make them happy. You know, They're not dead, but they all have little dents in the top <laughs> of their head. Yeah. So, I mean, no. you, you bring this up, but I don't know, six weeks, six months ago, some little girl in Oakland, some gangbanger shot his gun in the air, mm -hmm. and two blocks yeah. away, some little four-year-old girl received that bullet coming out of the sky, and it killed her. Yeah, it can. Not it all can the bullets do that. Shoot yeah. into the air, hit people. Uh, you know, maybe in China where it's more dense or something. I don't know, but it. A lot of those bullets go, you know, fly back down to the, the gravity, hit the ground. Yeah. Yeah, do they Why, they're they're no, banking on the fact that nobody will be underneath the bullet when it falls. So warning shots are are not not the way. Well, so I want to know in those Muslim countries where they do this out of tradition, uh, how many people die from falling bullets? I don't know. That's your home. Oh, wait, 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 Robert's laughing. Is this a silly question to ask? Yeah, it's somewhat. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Thank you. Why? I mean, you know, I mean, I want an answer. Well, because this, this by the time it hits its apex and then starts coming down, now it's just the same as it would be if it were a stone that somebody well, threw. Oh, get, okay. All right. Get, Maybe we should get, get some That's some why I said they all have little do an experiment. Well, the head. well, isn't, in fact, the shooting of a gun a uh, technologically more efficient way of throwing a rock? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And according to my friend here, F equals M yeah. times DV over DT. Yeah. May the force be with so, you. <laughs> I so, want to go back. Can you do I that, go Charlie? Back a little. I, who else can do that? I can't do that. You, 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 do just, that you just got to do it. You got to do it immediately do it. here. You can't can, think about it I too much. I can do much. it that way. What, what is it we're doing? you got to spread them first right that's what i told her that's what i told her do that too. yeah you got to spread them first that's what i told her i so. never can get here is your oh but a bum bum that's, that's what i told part. her yeah uh, somebody's uh, paying that's what i told your mother how's that <laughs> robert wanted to go back 
I want to go back to the implication. Now, I'm not yeah. a Democrat, yeah. but I want to go back to the implication that Democrats somehow are anti-law and order. That was the implication. Hmm. Why, Alan, did you say it that way? Why was there a derogatory comment levied toward Democrats? And I'm not a Democrat. Okay, so, so well, neither am I, actually. I'm an independent. So am I. And I am, too. Be, be, because... Democrats are anti-gun. Is that a fact? I'm not anti-gun. Yeah, Is that a fact? Maybe not oh, everybody here. Look, let, let's look at what's going on right now. H.R. Bill 127, I think it is, is to try and take a lot of gun rights away from American citizens. Is that is that anti-gun or is it just curtailing the use of ridiculous mm -hmm. weapons? I think it's anti-gun because... I think that's full of shit. Okay, one step leads to another step to another step. Oh, stop. Yeah, you just guys like have been using that laws. fucking trope for a hundred years. Get who off it. You, who is you guys? Get off it. You, all these guys? traffic laws are going to lead National to Rifle away, Association. Right? I, I don't belong to the National Rifle Police Association. Police forces across the country, gun yeah. enthusiasts have been using the same line of shit forever. Yeah. You know, if they take away your AK, whatever the fuck it is. Next thing you know, you won't be able to hold the pistol. Well, that isn't what the bill says. What the bill says is that they're going to limit the size of a weapon. I mean, why not say the same thing about me owning a fucking bazooka? Yeah. You know, like I should own a bazooka. And you can't now say to me that I shouldn't own a bazooka because you'll say next, you know, they'll come to your house and they'll take your fuck that. No more slingshots. That's just, that's just dealing in fear. That's yeah. all that is. Yeah, I want to own a tank. Why can't yeah, I own a sure. tank? Why not? <laughs> and if you take it away from Where, me, where's, it means the, you're where's the right to stifling my rights? Where's to where's my right bullshit. to bear nuclear arms? Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, bullshit. No, no, you know, the not. thing is, the thing is no, that, that I, I, I just don't find any practical purpose for a gun, okay? Uh, and I am, I am, I'm, it's not that I'm anti-gun, I just question the ability to be able to use them. That they, I don't think they necessarily help with crime. And uh, get them. Listen, in England, for years, <clears throat> the police never carried a sidearm. Never. Yeah. Uh, and once they did start carrying them, they were under their tunic where people couldn't see they had them. They were concealed. And the reason was is they found and they felt that the presence of a gun only escalated a situation. And, and so therefore, it was, uh, and this is true, the, the criminals in England, if they heard that anybody was using a gun in a crime, or whatever, they would try and find that person and stop them because it was like a, a thing. The cops don't carry guns, neither do the mm. bad guys. Okay? But did the English uh, cops wear, have a stick or something like that? Well, yeah, they, they had a yeah, stick, that. yeah. yeah. But uh, nobody, it, 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 was, it was a higher respect for law and order there. Nobody would shoot a cop. They would have not only the police after them, but they would have the criminals after them too looking for them. Kind of like the Italian mafia. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that I think the guns have a tendency to exacerbate a situation rather than to minimize it. Uh, and um, I think if, if the police didn't carry guns, a lot of people would never think about shooting at a policeman. They're going but, to come and take away your guns is such a tired old trope. I'll tell you the other tired old trope. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Well, people, I'll tell people you something. who kill people mm. are the luckiest when, you know, people in the world. What? When my son was three years old, if he happened to pick up a rock and throw it at another kid and hurt him, mm -hmm. I blamed my son, but I took away the rock. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so, yeah, people have to pick up the weapon in order to do it. I get it. But if there's no rock, there's no rock throwing. And if there's no gun... So that's gun control. If there's no guns, but I'm not talking no gun, about personally. I'm not talking about gun control. You made the point about the HR bill, which just limits the size of guns 
It limits the amount of bullets that can be contained in that gun. Mm -hmm. It never says a fucking word about taking away your personal gun from home. Not one word. Okay. But they, they don't want you to have that. They, they don't want. It they don't you want you to have. They don't want you to fear. have that Uzi. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're just saying, hey, you know, uh, if you want to have a gun, here's the kind of gun you can have. If you need it for protection at home, because that makes you feel better. You know, you can so listen. You, have, you, you uh, know this. Yeah. You know this is a policeman. And if you don't know okay, this, so, I'm sorry that you don't. And that but, is but, that the most but, common, the common thing that people are shot with. Are the guns they own in their home, either because some kid plays with it, or because they misfire it, or some bad guy comes in, they've got the gun, and now they don't have the ability to pull the trigger, and the guy takes that gun away from him and shoots him with his own gun. It, it you know, unless you're ready to shoot somebody yep. with that gun, uh, you better not have one because all you've done is you've brought into a, a situation which might just be a robbery where the guy isn't carrying a gun. And you've added a lethal weapon to the situation. Am you I right or wrong? Escalated it, Alan. Am I right you or wrong? You made my point. You made my point, Alex. What? Why, why people should be able to allowed to have guns in this country? Why? So that so the, the person. No, no, you just made the point. So the person who comes in can then grab the gun away from that guy and shoot him. People are shot so more with their happens. own weapons, Alan. It happens. What do you mean? It happens all the time. Right. Okay. Okay. So, uh, it, it, are you safer having a gun in your home, or it'd be better if you didn't have one? I think I'm safer having a gun in the house. How often have you used it? I'm sorry. How often have you used it? At, at at a person or at a paper target? At a person to protect yourself in your home, which never. was the original premise for you having it in the first place. Never. I've never shot at somebody in my home. Okay. So. I have a tie that keeps elephants away, <laughs> but there isn't an elephant for 2,000 miles, and I'll say, see, it works. It's like that old joke that Hitchcock used to tell about how he came up with the term MacGuffin. It's a joke in which a guy says, oh, what? They're traveling on a train. He says, what's that in that uh, luggage you have up there? He says, that's a MacGuffin. And he says, well, what is a MacGuffin for? He says, it's killing tigers in England. He said, but there are no tigers in England. He says, and that's no MacGuffin. All right. And that's where the term MacGuffin came from for something he would use in his movies where it was the thing that every every everybody in the picture was looking for, but it didn't really further the plot. It just was a catalyst for the plot. But anyway, also, the fact also, is, the fact is that I, I think the chances of most people <clears throat> are going to be robbed in their own home are, uh, what would you say are the odds? Very low. Okay. But it happens. So you have and a gun. You, you have a gun. You have this dangerous lethal weapon in your home, which a kid can find and play with and shoot himself. Yeah. Or that if somebody, God forbid, does come into your home, he can wrestle from you and then turn around and shoot you because when it comes time for you to shoot that gun at that guy, you can't bring yourself to do it. You know? And oh. so it's more dangerous to have that gun entered into the equation than maybe when there was no gun at all because the guy who was robbing you just came and so thought you were... Huh? So, Alex, you're okay to just be a victim to any crime as well. Hey, you saying. want my car? Steal it. How many Go ahead. Times? You want my TV set? Here, I'll hand it to you. Uh, just don't shoot me. How many have you used your gun in your home for this mythical person that walks in your home and steals something by your own admission... That's never happened. Okay, so, so, in effect, you're creating a straw dog and saying, in order to prevent against this irrational, I would say, fear, mm -hmm. I need to have this tool. But in fact, it's proven out over time that you didn't need it once. Okay. So, let, let's, let's take property crimes, Alex. Yeah. Somebody stealing my television or my car or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to shoot them. The only time I'm going to I'm going to shoot at somebody is if they're threatening my life or somebody else. Okay, that's, that's you. Somebody, that's you. Gonna, but you're going to bring out your gun though. If you hear somebody taking yeah. your, you know, you're going to bring out your gun. Yeah, yeah wait, I'm sorry, just, Robert. Mr. Robert, please wait just a second. Hold on here. It's in my drawer. Just give me a second. <laughs> No, no wait, I think oh, that's shit. I gotta load it with bullets. Hold wait, on. Wait, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Worse no, no, than no. worse than that. It's in the safe. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hold on. Six <laughs> to the left. Idea. Oh, no. Six <laughs> to the right. <laughs> no, but what, I'm, what I mean is that if, if somebody comes screen? in the house, if somebody comes in the house, you don't know what they have and you don't know what they're after. If they're just asking for the TV and you're going to bring your gun out there, that's the that's the scenario where, yeah, like I can grab your gun if you're not ready to pull the trigger. Yes, John Larkin. Also, I, I think well, it's too you know, easy to get guns too, right? Right. John? I, I think, you know, I, I don't have a gun. I never owned a gun, but I wouldn't mind having one just for the hell of it to go, you know, up in the mountains and shoot at signs and, and shit like that. <laughs> But I want, I don't want to be able to just go and get one anywhere, you know, right. like, like just walk right. into a store and say, Hey, you know, I'm buying this, you know, I want to, I want to be checked out for like a, you know, a week, make sure I'm not crazy. And I you just, there's gotta be more control on who can get the guns because our society has fucking too many guns. We're, we're gun crazy in this country. Too many crazy. But you know, I, Alan, Alan is a guy mm -hmm. who goes out to the range and shoots guns and so on. That, that's how you met Phil, right? That's right. Yeah, the yeah, shooting so, range. So let me back up for just a couple of things. Yeah. The kid thing. A responsible gun owner keeps a gun locked up. Okay, and I, and I, I understand Robert. I'm pointing that you guys are on the screen here, um, but keeps a gun locked up in a safe place. There are safes that are made where you can train the biometric to put your hand on the fingerprint thing. And it opens up and you can get your weapon out. So that solves the kid problem. A lot of people, a lot of people are not that responsible. The second thing is, is that if somebody broke into my house, kind of what Robert touched on a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Brian touched on, sorry, uh, was that you don't know the person's intention. If the person comes in, doesn't have a gun, I retrieve my gun mm -hmm. and he's just taking my TV he can walk away with it. I don't give a shit. I mean, I'm just not gonna. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna deal with. It. But I'm not gonna get close enough to him to, for him to take the gun from me. Let me ask I you have... one quick question here, Alan. Ahead, How much does a biometric thing. device cost? Uh, you, you can get. I'll, I'll send you a link. You can get. You can get a, a couple hundred dollars. Do you think somebody who can buy a gun for almost next to nothing wants to buy something biometric and pay two hundred dollars for it? Absolutely, if they're responsible. If they're gun responsible, owner. how many people do you think are responsible out there? Everybody I know. Oh, really? How how about the people you had to deal with as a cop? That's a different story. <laughs> uh -huh. Alan, let me ask you this: How long did you train as a policeman? How long did you train with a firearm? I assume that both you and Phil are trained in the use of firearms to expert degree. Okay, would you agree that it would be safe for you to have a firearm, but I've never held a firearm in my life. For me, it might not be quite as safe. We're probably lucky in that case. Yeah. Hey, listen, we've, we've got a theme playing sure. there. Oh, wow. And, and we've oh. run out of time. Boy, this has gone by fast. What a good, yep. just, good gun solid. Talk tomorrow night, good solid. What? what? Gun talk tomorrow night all night. All night. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, uh, welcome to a mem uh, meeting of the NRA here. Uh, yes, uh, Robert Natali, thank you. So good to have you on again. Uh, always good to have you here. Uh, Alan, good to have you here too. Made for good All conversation. Right. Charlie, thank you. Robert, uh, Brian, rather, thank you. And thank you, Jeffrey Stein, and thank you to uh, John Larkin. Uh, and if you'll all give a big wave goodbye, I'll give a big wave goodbye at you and say good night. Good night, everybody. Yeah, there they go. There goes our citizen panel. Some of them hung up before I could hang up on them. Well, I can beat them to it. I'm I'm a professional. Anyway. Good discussion about guns, man. Uh, listen, hey, uh, that's it for tonight. We'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, yeah, you know what? Tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. Wear a mask. Night, everybody. <laughs>